Today we'll show you how you can create a collision for UDK in Blender and of course directly in your engine. So basically we'll show you three ways how to do that. The first one will be in a 3D program, in my case Blender. There you just have to add boxes, so they are called collision boxes. So go to mesh and then add a cube. Then place those boxes right to the mesh. Scale them up or down a little bit. And adjust them. Like this here. Then I copy this. Paste. Copy, paste, and rotate. Say 90 degrees. Okay, so those boxes here will be my collision boxes. So now go to your mesh and rename it to every name you like. I will, I've called it test. Then go to the collision box, do a right click onto it and rename it like that. Use the X underscore and then the name of your mesh. In my case test. Then another cube, rename use the X underscore test and another cube, rename use the X underscore test. Okay, now they are collision boxes. So just export them and import them in your UDK. So just go to import, um, where is it, untitled, here. And as you can see, it shows up our collision boxes. And that way how you can create the collision is pretty performance saving and easy to create. So I would recommend it this way when you do a collision. But of course the other two ways are much more time saving. So that was the first one. Let's go to the second one. For that you just have to import any model you like into UDK. Then you just have to do a double click onto it. Then go to the collision tab and add any collision you like. For example I will add the 26 stop collision. And as you can see here now, it isn't so good the collision. So I would just recommend you to use it for small objects or for pretty simple objects. But of course, it's that way you can also create much more complex collisions. You do that with the auto convex collision. There you just have to set everything to the max. Then go to apply. And as you can see now, we got a better collision, but of course with too much or too many vertices. And that's bad for the performance. As you can see here, the same collision. Here we just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just some few vertices. And here we have pretty pretty many of them. So it's not so good, just for small objects. So that was the second way with the collision tab. And the third way is this one here. You just have to scroll down a little bit here. Then you can see the use simple box collision, use simple line collision and use simple rigid body collision. So you just have to disable those three. Now as you can see, we collide with it. And with that way you can create pretty complex collisions in a pretty few time, in just few, some few seconds. So that's one of the best ways, but of course, yeah, the performance won't be so good, but yeah, it's it's your choice what you do. Here you won't get a good performance with that way, but of course with that way, you have to sit in front of the computer for some hours and do the collision box for, for example, for building, and that's pretty time consuming. So it always depends what you like. Either you want a good performance, then you use this way with the collision boxes, or you want to do it in a just a, just a, just a short time, like this here, and you just disable those three boxes. Of course, the second way is also good, but as I said, not so good for complex models. So I would recommend you to use the, third, the first way with the collision boxes. Okay, so that's, that's how you create collisions for UDK. Just three types how you do that, and yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time.